Shalom, beloved. Welcome back. It's May 3rd, and I've thought about this for a couple of days on how to really do this video. Um, yesterday, you, you saw on Facebook here that I, I posted a video from the rabbi called The, the Mishia Code Will Be Distributed, set 5775. So I spent a lot of time looking at that particular table. But it could, because in his video, he implies uh, that it will be distributed by Penlight and some others. And so I went and looked. So here's the actual table in the video. This is called The Codes Will Be Distributed. And we're not going to get into it right now. I want to show you something first and then try to have a heart to heart talk with you guys. Because there seems to be some misunderstanding on my motives for calling out. Uh, deceivers um, for stop the reason why I stopped talking about rapture and things like that I just saw a post on some somebody's video that's putting out a bunch of deception and at the I may just go and read that for you instead of trying to explain because it it seemed like it was baited specifically for me so I'll go ahead and take the bait and, and read it for you because it shows the arrogance of this person but let me just answer that question first. Why I stopped talking about the rapture? Guys, and I've been taught rapture ever since I was a young child. I, I believe in rapture. But what I had discovered in the codes, and mind you, I've been doing this for, for many, many thousands of hours. Not just since last summer. I didn't just get some free code program and jump on YouTube like somebody has without first having some tenure in the codes I've read several hundred books I've only got one written and I didn't actually write it I just got my material in there but you don't see me going around marketing and, and selling my books and DVDs As a matter of fact the, the conferences I've been to and where I had learned what was really going on and what it was about it was about money it was a time where I had um, help from donors and produced material, DVDs, written material, things. And I, would, I went to these conferences and would hand it out for free. Now let me just back up and, and say, I did request if I could set up my table. I brought my own table. One of those carry little small carry tables you can get at Walmart. It's got a handle on it. So I brought my own table and asked those who were putting on these conferences in Colorado and the one down in Orlando, and I was told you can have a table to distribute your stuff for free, but it'll cost about five hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on the size of the table. And so I didn't realize then this was all about the Kesef. And so I just walked around handing my material out for free. Didn't make a dime. Matter of fact, it cost money, a lot of money, to go to those conferences. And many of you helped. Those two that were were supporting this ministry at that time, uh, some of you have dropped off. One of the reasons is because I stopped tickling your ears, and you wonder why I stopped talking about rapture. It's what I found. It's the conclusion I came to, and then the other conclusion I came to is if if some of you can't handle the simple truth that I try to show you. Then I'm the truth that comes without malice. You see, I wasn't attacked. I wasn't the attacker. I was attacked first when I put out videos about Kurt Jurgensen and his false predictions. There was no malice. It was concern for you and for what I knew I had found in the codes concerning the rapture. And I knew that you couldn't handle it. That's why I stopped talking about rapture. Mac Anthony, what I believe is your name, if that's really your name, who commented on the video over there. <laughs> this is about the Father and about time. Do you realize time is the most valuable commodity on the planet today? It's true. It's more valuable than platinum, than gold and silver, all put together. Think about that. Time. What is time? Time has a beginning and an end, and we're, we're rapidly approaching that end. 
I came to realize this at the death of my brother in 2008 when he was killed. Notice I said 2008. That is the time that happened. And I've already told you there was an awakening in it happening 2009, 2010. And the father used the death of my brother to get my attention. And so I came to realize time was very valuable. Extremely valuable. Because once it's gone, you can never get it back. And what you do with your time matters. I'm not saying for the years ago and, and work full-time jobs and surgeons and lawyers and all, all these that have really important jobs. We need you. We need bus drivers. We need, you know, uh, garbage men. We need dentists. We need lawyers. We need all of those. Well, I don't know about lawyers. I think we could probably do without those. We, we, we certainly need doctors. And that's that's incredible amount of time spent in that field. Even as a bus driver, you don't want to get on a bus with someone who's a, who is a novice. The man could kill you. So time. I've spent over twenty thousand hours in what I'm doing. And so when I tell you, and when I try to share with a brother who is ex absolutely wrong, and folks, there's no rapture going to happen in May. I'm right now making that prediction. I'm putting out this prophecy. There will not be a rapture in May. And I'm sorry to tell you folks this. And, and, and many of you may even get mad and shut the, the video off right here. That's your perfect will uh, to do that. But it's not going to be on any skin off of my back. You're the only one going to be hurt. The only one going to be let down. Because I know the truth. The Father showed it to me. And I have warred with him about that. Warred, wrestled. Because I didn't want to bring you that truth. Why? Because the simple truths. Some of you still can't handle it. I tried to show you about the fox seeing gospels. And about a code tard from Canton, Ohio with a free program that has many of you strung along and have your hopes built up. You folks are going to be very disappointed in a few days. And so it breaks my heart for that. I don't do this for money. It doesn't pay. You know, the, the, the codes will be distributed. So uh, the night before I was in a mikvah, just weeping before the Lord, Abba. And... Even still, I, I slip and, and say those words. And then I was crying out to him. What is it all for? I can't see the fruit. I can't see the fruit of this. It, it, you know, and I was whining and complaining. And, and the Holy Spirit came with a complete shalom over me. And said, go take a look at analytics. And I don't really remember what analytics are from YouTube. Because I just started doing really the, the ads. I mean, if you think I did the ads to make money, well, let me show you exactly how much money that is. This is the YouTube spreadsheet right here that I got from YouTube um, for the quarter, like four months. There's two reasons why I'm showing you this. And one reason is not to brag at all. If anything, it's to brag on the Father. But, but, but to be clear, on, on the money that comes in through ads. But the amazing thing w was what I saw over here in the geography in the 221 countries that this ministry has reached. And I'm saying this ministry because those of you that have, have subscribed, even those that donate, it's not many. It's just enough to keep this ministry going. And this is the reason why. The reason why. Because in Palestine, we've got 107 hours of watch time. Uh, we can go to, I don't know, look at any of them. Look at the hours and the watch time of many of these countries. I was looking at one of the countries last night. A Muslim country where thousands of hours were being watched of this channel. 
So indeed, the coats are being distributed. So far, the count is, in the four months that I've been tracking it, 221 countries. 1.2 million views total. I want to take you to number of, well, it's moved up actually. See, see these numbers change because it's, you could go and refresh and get a, um, a fresh number. But look, this is Israel. 5,735 hours watched in this, this quarter. Japan, Sweden, South Africa, New Zealand. I mean, just about every United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia. I think I counted 12 different Muslim countries on this um, spreadsheet. Now, let's get to the next category. You see that number right there, $1,103.88. And then follow the numbers as it goes down because that's only in the United States. The rest of it in these, you know, 50 cents from Malaysia, 30 cents from Australia. These are, these are ads. This is the money made off of ads. And by the way, I haven't, haven't, haven't even got a check for this. I don't even know how. So this, this is not money that comes in because I had the ads put on there. It was a result of, you know, losing some donators because of the BRA, uh, BRI fiasco that happened and the slandering that took place. And many of you bought it. 221 countries. That's why I do it. And the reason why I had to, I had to add an e-commerce business to sell milk products that we have here on this farm that we work is to supplement. Now, every once in a blue moon, there'll be a donor come by and give me a thousand dollars that will completely wipe away everything that we're needing at the moment. It's just like the the, the Israelites in in the wilderness when he was feeding them manna. It was just enough, just enough. So there's no surplus. Coast Search is not living lavishly. And qu quite the contrary, I've lost a lot, folks, because of the time I invested in this. I had a spouse that abandoned me and went for another man and took my children from me. So it's not money that keeps me on YouTube doing this. It's the love of the Father, the passion for what I do, and to revealing truth to you. Because I've been lied to too, as well. And that's how I got into the codes, because I was skeptical about it. And when I see a fraud and not do nothing about it, it eats at me. You ever seen that show, What Would You Do? Put into many of the situations in, that I'm in, what would you do? I love that show. It shows, it shows the true characters. And every once in a while, there's that one hero that comes up. And he stands up for justice. Or her stands up for injustice. On what's going on. Let me take you over to that comment that I saw. You know, it's, it's just, just like stuff that rolls off my back. Uh, so, some things get me, you know, fired up. The thing about this guy is May is going to come and go, folks. And he's still going to be on YouTube tickling your ears. And leading people astray. And he's very arrogant about it. Now, I didn't come against this guy because I was jealous. Like this guy right here. Let's just read this. Mac Anthony. Here's what Kurt says. Hey world, there's no May rapture. Watch when May comes and goes by Code Searcher. Mocking me. He also mocks me at the top up here in his little... Uh, I dotted the I and threw the net with my free Code Searcher all one word app. Ha, 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 ha. Very arrogant. But look what the commenter says down here. And folks, listen. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let me just read. The Lord, when he judges everyone, it will be based on what is in the heart of that person being judged. You're correct. It, he does judge the hearts. Which will include the motives of many and what they do. Absolutely. And that's why I question the motives of this person, because when he is brought sound, hard, 
hermeneutics and methodology in a loving counsel and rejects it with arrogance, then it leads one to believe that this person is an intentional agent of deception. Say what they say in Kurt's heart and motives is, and how do you know this? He's This guy's speaking for Kurt. It almost makes me think this guy is Kurt. See how I almost baited? It says, and Kurt's heart and motives are purely to prepare and get as many saved and ready as possible for the rapture, regardless whether the rapture takes place in May or not. Okay, so Kurt, you're, you're saying... Your motive to deceive people, and I believe this is Kurt, is to get people all worked up, to get them saved, even if there's no rapture. I submit to you folks that this person is here to discredit the codes, just like Brendan McKay did in the great rabbi, um, it's called what's called the Great Rabbi Challenge. And this Australian mathematician came forward and forged a lot of data and turned the code world upside down because they believe what he said until the, the rabbis debunked him and showed that his codes could not be reproduced. Because if I have one, one program and, and, and another person has a program and it doesn't show the same results, then there's something wrong. I told you guys, in the New King James Version of that same program, rapture does not appear. Nowhere. Period. Now you can change the word to rapier, or you can split up the letters in R-A-P and then the rest, and that's called manipulation. Witchcraft. Many of you are going to see what I'm talking about. Let's continue. Whereas for you, Code Searcher, is concerned, you are doing what you do because it is a spirit of jealousy and pride operating in you. What could I have possibly be jealous about of this person? This person tried to attach himself to me and Chris over the summer when I was being attacked and being slandered and being sabotaged by BRI, agents of deception. Put out a PDF about me and said I was a pimp, a drug dealer, um, living a lascivious life and just running wild. When I was going through my divorce and he, the one who accused me, was hacking my computer for the lawyer working for my spouse, it was all to smear and to tear me down and to destroy me. And I cried out to many of you, you know, not being able to get back on onto any of my accounts to try to get, you know, those that were uh, supporting and, and praying for me to to help out to support. I was being destroyed in the in the internet. Who spoke up for me? Maybe five of you. The rest of them, some just stood there, said nothing, and and others walked away. That's what happened. There's no, there's no jealousy. My channel's, you know, ten times as big as his. Um, I, I don't base anything he does on on what I do because I know there's there's no comparison. And folks, that's not pride talking. That's that's logic. I have a little kitty climbing up my back. <laughs> I'm doing a recording, kitty. Go away, <laughs> folks. I'm not jealous. I'm concerned for you folks that are that are following this. And I really am. That's the heart of code searching. Um, really. And you may you may even be right about your predictions, but even so, guess who will be accepted in the Lord in this scenario? Question mark. So attack, ridicule, all you want about Kurds code searching and we'll see soon see for sure whose hearts will have the last laugh last laugh we're talking about time and the mortality of souls and there's nothing laughable about that 
or cry in the case of being rejected by Yahuwah because of what is really hidden in our hearts. Then this is where he mentions BRI. By the way, Code Searcher, Matthew Wright, used to be focused on Yahuwah, I mean. And what he did three or four years ago, I even contributed to his ministry. But then, uh, then, but since his experience with BRI, like I just said, and beyond, he has become more political and commercial in his ministry, which is very sad. But that's between him and Yahuwah, and it is. My heart is pure, but with the Father is yours. But since his experience with BR and beyond and has become more and more political and commercial in his ministry, which is very sad that's between him and you, eventually this would be his own. Excuse me, I lost my place. Would be his own free will. For example, he should be leaving Kurt alone and do and do and say according to his faith in Yahuwah and should not be doing without his help or interference. I don't understand that. Apparently I'm interfering with, with, with Kurt. That alone is clear sign that he is all focused and in some sort of pride or jealousy. But as for me, I'll obey the prompting of you and stay away from his channel. Please do. Really. I don't need people like this to be supporting my ministry. Really. So you're not hurting my feelings at all. Because you, there's clearly no truth in you. You can't see the truth. Your eyes have a veil on them. And that's why I said I can't share what I've discovered about the rapture because it's people like you cannot handle it. You will not be able to handle it. When May comes and goes, we will tackle that subject once again. And I'll do it publicly. And I'll show you publicly. And many of you are not going to like what I have to show you. And that's okay. Because... My hands will be clean and my heart will be pure with the Father. And there won't be anything hidden back from you. Because right now I am holding back. That it is true. I have stopped talking about rapture for a reason. And I just told you that reason. But as for me, I, I'll be obeying the prompting of Yahuwah to stay away from his channel until I learn, until I discern a change in his spiritual seriousness with Yahuwah again. And as for you, you might want to do a quick self-check for dear life if you want to be ready for rapture, whenever it is, instead of being so busybody and void the true spiritual, and void of true spiritual dessert sermon. That's good advice. Take it. So, <laughs> you know, guys, I'm not telling you that there's no codes in the New Testament. The actual scriptures that he's looking in does have a catching away connection. The words that he's finding in there, interesting. Even the three letter, you know, when he breaks it up and the manipulation that he does, he makes it look really good. But there's no truth in it. I absolutely know for a fact and will put my life on it that there's no rapture this week, folks. That's not pride. That's confidence in what I've seen in my data. There's no rapture this week. And there certainly is no Passover in the month of May. And so, it's no longer a matter of the heart because he believes in his heart of what he's telling you. I don't believe that for one bit. I believe he knows he's deceiving you. The internet is full of those people, folks. They are here specifically for one reason, to deceive you. Some of them are even Jesuits pretending to be rabbi uh, <laughs> teachers. who speak Hebrew and really don't. I know this firsthand because I was on the phone with a guy speaking Hebrew and had no idea what I was saying. 
But you watch his videos and he reads transliterated as if he's teaching you Hebrew. So I know a, I know a fake when I see one. I've been on the streets. I've been in the Marines. I know how to analyze and determine. So what did I do? I see those things hidden. This is the video that I put out, uh, the, the rabbi put out. It's called Mashiach Code Will Be Distributed. And this is the other battle that I've been fighting. You're wondering why, why I've been so busy in not putting out videos. It's because I have to monitor the ones leading people astray and point out their error. And yes, this, it is part of my responsibility, folks, as a watcher. To sit and do nothing would be a crime. I have to say something. This individual, Rabbi Glazerson, I love as a grandfather. He still hasn't had got the truth, and that has been one of my missions, is to bring the gospel to him. The Mashiach codes, the these tables of uh, the Messiah. That was what I had intentionally had in mind on doing this video was on these tables but then I happen to read this this comment on this guy's video and it was just like look <laughs> you got to get real these people and just let them know what's going on I want you to go and watch um, well I'll tell you what let's do it right here Let's just play some of his video along and get to his table. In the first part, he talks about how there's only codes in the first five books of the Bible. Um, L.A. Marzulli, um, Rich, Rick Shaw, two other individuals who have shown hard copy of codes in, in the Tanakh. I'm not talking about the New Testament. I mostly search the Tanakh because I believe the end is hidden in the beginning. Showed him hard copy, and yet Richard Shaw still uh, cannot receive it. And this is supposed to be a brother in Yeshua. But what I what I had discovered, and what the, the Ruach had revealed to me, is he's exploiting this man for money for to make videos. If you recall, there was a video um, so DVD came out. And I was, at, I was at the debut of it at the conference, the very conference that I was telling you about, the $1,000 tables. I was sitting in this debut of this 2012, Torico 2012, thinking to myself, I'm not very impressed. You know, this, this movie was a flop. It was, and I know this firsthand because I know Hollywood Terry, Rick. Discovery Channel, Learning Channel, History Channel, all those channels rejected his his documentary. And that's why it, it ended up going to DVD and he was, began to sell it. And that's why he's selling the DVD in the darkness now because none of the mainstreams would take it. And the Ruach revealed to me why that was. It was in the name. It was actually in the name of his co company, which is called Pen Light, which implies... Very small light. There's no Yeshua in the Torah Code 2012 documentary. There's no light in it. That's why it flopped, Richard. Now this is the second part of the video that I have to address someone who's in error. And this, this, is, this comes with a very strong warning specifically because what is in the man's name. He's going to point out to you uh, in the video. I'll leave a link for you to go to watch the whole thing. So let's just get to the to the actual table he's talking about because he talks about a couple, and you'll see how he's got pin light in his table. Pin light absolutely is there. He's connected with Glazerson. It's obviously going to be there, but um, why is it there? What are the motives? I can reveal to you what the motives are based on this man's table, and what Yahuwah has in the table. Let me show you. Amazingly, once is at one. This amazing one, you can see it in English also written, the word code you fast. Code will be code you fast. Code will be distributed. The codes will be distributed. What I just told you. Messiah codes. Here's Richard Shaw's name right here. 
Richard, pay attention to this because this is very serious. Very serious. This is what the rabbi didn't tell you, Richard. Because see, this is a symbiotic relationship going on there. He needs you to get the uh, orthodox mystic Kabbalistic codes out there and you need him because of the uh, flash and the, and the uh, you know, sensationalism of it to sell DVDs. That was why 2012 failed. The Mayan calendar hype. Now it's the Nibiru hype. It's all hype. I'm not saying Nibiru is not real. That is very real. Wormwood is going to happen. But, but putting out DVDs at the end of darkness and hyping it up to sell. Well, brother, the, what I'm getting to is I saw the word judgment sitting right on top of your name. So I went and looked at that verse right there. And it begins right here in the Dalit of distributing the codes, which you have helped do. And it says, and he will stand in the congregation in judgment. Womb amazing, very small. I want you to see the rest. Richard Shaw is indeed there. You can see Zophan up here. Zophan was right off to the side here, which is code. This is Bet Top Sinai and Hay, which is 5775, which is really when my channel started taking off. Uh, you know, I was, I was very hesitant on getting on YouTube. Um, he implies. Is five seven seven five from Mexico? Come here, bet touching. I'm in five seven seven five. Then you have also the word code come here in. Then on this side, we have people really participate. And he says, on this side, you have people who are participating in the distributing of the codes. Keep that in mind because I went and looked for me and Chris and Sean and even Jerkins. And guess who's not there? He's not. The rest of us are, but he is not. That's an interesting point. Matiyahu. Matiyahu is actually my name and Rabbi Glazerson's name. His name is Matthew Glazerson. And even the surname Glazerson coming. You can see here how he's showing at the end of Matiyahu. He's got Glazer. And son, he had to break up the, the whole name because it's so many letters. We're kind of seeing that frequently. It's called Best Meeting. Uh, and then what we have here, another year that it will be a step further, we hope. He has another year here. The son of Jesse returns. So he's in 2016, 5776, 2016. That's not 6016, folks, as Kurt has been telling you. Five seven seven five seven seven six. Next year will be five seven seven seven. It's twenty sixteen. Five thousand seven hundred seventy six. And this, as we see in another table afterwards, that this calls our Torah Mashiach. Doctrine of the Mashiach. Mashiach. That's what he's saying here. We have the word Torah or doctrine. He's saying Torah. And Messiah coming together. So he's saying it's a doctrine of, of the Mashiach from the codes yeah. being revealed and distributed. And which I've done a lot of Yeshua tables. They're the favorite ones. But look at this. Your eyes which have seen the deeds of Yahuwah. Keep in mind this verse right here. Okay. Now I want to fast forward it to the last things that he says in here. Lot of flies about what caused these two tables shed a lot of light, <clears throat> he says, on what are real codes. So he says, and I pointed out, pen light, these two tables shed a lot of light on what are real codes. Let's go to the table. And here it is. This is the very same one. Exactly the same one, except for th what I have found in here. Here's where it says, and, that, and he will stand before the congregation in judgment. Let me blow that up. I want to make sure Richard sees this, because, brother, this is a warning to you. Uh, 
and your very own friend's table. This one I didn't find. Rabbi Glazerson found this. He didn't tell you about it. So I'm telling you. And I'm telling Rabbi Glazerson, which you, you won't do, Rick, on who the Messiah really is. So let me just, I got to blow it up. I want to do this. Uh, so you could see. And it says there, 35, 12. 35, 12. Until he stand before the congregation in judgment. Now, let's go back to the, to the actual table. Till he stand before the congregation in judgment. Rick, that word crossing your name right there is kesef which is money, connected to judgment. The judgment comes from the money, the root of all evil. But also, the word nechesh is in here, which is snake, right there. Also, uh, well, Rabbi, you know what this is. I don't have to tell you. And it's connected to the vav in shaw. Now, let's go over to the other side where it says, and his eyes have seen the deeds of Yahuwah. Because using the methodology of the rabbi, best meeting, closest proximity, I put in my name. And it appeared there. First name, last name, running right through those, those two verses. The two mems in my name coming together with waters, or it makes the word waters, which is true. Um, I live by the ocean much of my life. I'm a Pisces, and so that made sense. But let me just again read you what that verse is there. And I found all of my names here. Um, the word, the last name, Wright, is an adopted name. However, it is here. But my other real names, Levy, Levine, from my grandparents, it is also here. It's a name I've been going by. And... not going to allow me to open that up right there. But I read you. You saw what it said in his video. His eyes have seen the deeds of Yahuwah. And so, um, all right, I just opened it up again so we could see that. I wanted you to see in the plain text. But your eyes, right here, but your eyes have seen all the great acts of Yahuwah, which he did. Then a verse in the white, which has Levi in there, you see right here, this is off on the other side. Let's just go to the other side where it has Jonathan and Levi. Jonathan is written backwards here, Levi. And you have Levi, and then Levi on itself. Lamed Vav Yod, Lamed Vav Yod, back on itself. Same kind of thing happens in, in the table about Code Searcher with the word Jonathan and, and the Tav in the center. But that verse is... Um, important too. For thou shalt fear Yahuwah thy Elohim and serve him and shall swear by his name and ye shall not go after other gods or the gods of people which are around about you. For Yahuwah thy Elohim is jealous Elohim among you lest his anger of Yahuwah thy Elohim be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Ye shall not tempt Yahuwah your Elohim as ye tempted him in Massa. Ye shall diligently keep his commandments of Yahuwah your Elohim and his testimonies and all his statutes that he had commanded thee. Then I have one highlighted here. It's just a fragment which is 21.9. Then thou shalt do what is right in the sight of Yahuwah. And also, this verse, 26.17 of the Dream. Thus has avouched 
the Adonai this day to be thy, own, thy Elohim and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and to hearken to his voice. To hearken to his voice. Hearken to his voice, folks. Can you still hear him? And all that's going on today, can you still hear him? And all the hype, people hollering about rapture. I give you my word. When May comes and goes, I'll reveal to you what I know conclusively about the rapture. I give you my word. And if you can't handle it, that's, that's between you and the Father. There is a rapture. Don't get me wrong. There is one. But many of you have a misunderstanding because of doctrines of men have crept in. It's a big reason why I think the codes exist is to clarify the confusion because the Father is no author of confusion. And you're going to find a lot of confusion on that YouTube channel. I was just talking about Kurt Jurgens. Here's the other things here, and this is for the rabbi because he's been searching for the Mashiach for so long. And so I want to take the time to help him out here in his very own table. Mashiach appears on the other side as well, Rabbi. And if you go and look, in Israel, the Mashiach, we have Mashiach crossing over the name, stacked twice. Yahshua. That's the Messiah. And he did come as the Lamb, as the code say. Yeshua is his name. The resurrection of Yeshua in Genesis. Mind you, first five books, okay, we'll play that. Here you go. Smallest skip. Smallest skip. One, two, three. Genesis 31, 32, 33. Rabbi, the resurrection of Yeshua. That's Mashiach codes being distributed. And there's a desire to get back into those Mashiach codes. Because I, the reason I stopped talking about the Mashiach codes and Yeshua is because of all of the Christians saying, we already know about Jesus. Why are you showing us this? I'm kind of hurt, you know. Because I was all I was very excited about how the word verified and inconclusive, I mean conclusively proven, he is and was and ever will be the right hand of the Father. But many of you would just throw stones at me earlier in the ministry because you didn't want to hear about that. You wanted to hear all the rapture stuff and tickling your ears or prophecy, doom and gloom. So uh, that, that's where I ended up showing you those hidden things about in the prophets. My heart is pure before the Father, folks. I haven't been commercialized or politicized. And I didn't lose any anointing. I did go through a fire, testing. And I did find out who, those, who were with me and who was never with me at all. And if you've cast your lot in this ministry and have donated, have helped, Keep me up. Because like I said, this is about time. Whether I starve to death, and I don't think the Father is going to let me do that, my time is in His Word, in His Scriptures, in His prophets, in His writings, and in presenting that to you. That's where my time is. If you don't feel like my time is not valuable to you or you're not getting anything from this channel, so don't donate. But if you are being blessed, and you do accept the the lot of this ministry, and you'll be counted with this ministry. All of this, the everything that was distributed to the, the two hundred and twenty one countries in three months so far, four months. That's not counting the years. I don't even know those numbers. Then your crowns in heaven are stored up because of the effort that you supported. And there is a pure heart here, folk. I'm not here to deceive you. I'm going to tell you the truth. 
even if nobody else will. I love you. The Father loves you. Yeshua absolutely loves you. He gave his life for you. The Father has a name and the Son has a name. Go go, look at Proverbs 30. Is he 30 or 34? Who's the Father's name? Who's the Son's name? Forty-five minutes. All right, guys. I'm going to close this out here now. But I want you to know, um, when May comes and goes, I publicly invited Kurt Jurgens to join myself and Chris and maybe a few others, just like I did Stephen Denou, to talk about his error. Maybe discuss the flaws in his methodology. I don't want to ridicule the guy. I don't want to crucify him. I want to hear why he would not receive sound counsel from people who absolutely knew what they were talking about. It can only mean the person is doing an intentional deception. If he does not join us, we'll still broadcast and we'll analyze all the flaws and the many, many tables that he put out where there's absolute, conclusive, irrefutable proof this and such and such and this and that and this is going to happen. We're going to, we're going to break it down piece by piece, rudimentary, so that you can understand. Shalom. And may she will bless you.